Nokia recently unveiled a slew of new X series devices including the Nokia X20 a mid-range 5G smartphone. This 6.67 inch handset is the first of the Nokia's recent announcement and it competes with the crowded market segment. Competitors includes the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G, OnePlus Nord N10 5G, Realme 7 Pro and Motorola Moto G 5G Plus. All of them are worthy competitors and there are plenty more in the same price range. So where this Nokia X20 stands? Let's see what are the benefits and drawbacks of this device in this video. The Nokia X20 may disappoint those hoping for a change from the Nokia's usual form factor. From a Nokia's perspective, it's business as usual, with a simple approach compared to the likes of Realme and Xiaomi which tend to peacock with their offerings, gleaming finishes, curved displays and more to entice customers. Nokia X20 has a reflective mate finish on the back that looks great, feels great in hand and helps to keep fingerprint at a bay. However, with the thickness of 9.1 mm and a weight of 220 grams, it is unquestionably one of the thicker smartphone on the market. The premium metal band that runs around the exterior matching the color of the back, either bronze tinted midnight sun or deep nordic blue and the Zeiss branded circular camera housing on the back are small details that helps the X20 shine. It's clear that this isn't an entry-level Nokia, though if Nokia had gone with a glass back instead of plastic, the line would have been more clearly defined. Volume rockers and a fingerprint reader are located on the right side of the 6.67 inch display, while a SIM card tray and the Google Assistant button are located on the left. It's also not remappable like every other Nokia, so it's largely useless unless you use Google's virtual assistant frequently. On the front of the Nokia X20 are the 6.67 inch IPS LCD display with a full HD plus 2400 by 1080 resolution and a 319 pixel density. The display is bright and detailed with a maximum brightness of 523 nits in my test, making it ideal for scrolling through social media and watching videos, though it lacks the punch of OLED and AMOLED enabled counterparts. The 20 is to 9 aspect ratio, while not quite as wide as the 21 is to 9 ultra wide used in Hollywood blockbusters, means the display display is large without being too wide to use one-handedly, though reaching the very top of the display with your thumb may be difficult. With bezels and a noticeable Nokia branded chin, it's not quite an edge-to-edge -edge experience. Nice. The refresh rate is capped at 60Hz which is disappointing when compared to the cheaper smartphones like Redmi Note 10 Pro. While the high refresh rate display were once considered premium technology, this is no longer the case in the 2021. It's disappointing that the Nokia X20 which is the most capable of Nokia's new X-Range smartphone lacks them. Nokia also launched the Nokia X10 along with the Nokia X20 and we have already reviewed that in our channel and if you missed to watch that, not to worry, the link is already in the description as well as in the cards above. Although Nokia's software is superior to Xiaomi's with multi-year updates and a near stock OS, if display technology is important to you, there are more capable options available at the similar price. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 processor is at the heart of the Nokia X20. Nokia has defined the trend by shipping both 6 and 8 GB variant of Nokia X20 with the same 128 GB of storage that can be expanded via microSD. Although the Snapdragon 480 has advantages such as the 5G connectivity, it's not Qualcomm's most capable chipset. It's also underpowered when compared to the similarly priced competitors like Snapdragon 750G or the 765G. Benchmarks are useful for comparing devices but they aren't always representative of the real-world usage. The Nokia X20 isn't going to be able to compete with the flagship devices anytime soon but it's adequate for everyday use. It can easily handle social media sites like Instagram and Facebook as well as some light gaming but don't expect to run high graphics consuming mobile games like Genshin Impact or the Call of Duty etc. That too at a full graphics. However, there is occasional stutter when opening and closing apps highlighting the Snapdragon 480's limitation. While the performance may not be best for the money, you will get stock Android 11 a much cleaner experience than the Xiaomi's MIUI. And Nokia has promised 3 full OS upgrades and 3 years of security updates. That's a lot better than most competitors especially at this price point. So the Nokia X20 can look forward to Android 12, 13 and 14 updates as well as all the new features that each update brings. There is 5G, Bluetooth 
वाई फाई फाई एन एफ सी अस पोर्ट एंड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एम एम हेडफोन जैक फॉर कनेक्टिविटी एज वेल एज फिंगर प्रिंट स्कैन बिल्ट इन टू द पावर बटन फॉर एडेड सिक्योरिटी विद एवरेज यूज दैट इज क्रॉलिंग थ्रू सोशल मीडिया मैसेजिंग एंड टेकिंग द ओकेशनल फोटोज द नोकिया एक्स ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड फोर सेवेंटी एम एच बैटरी दट लास्ट अराउंड वन एंड हाफ डेज दो यू कुड प्रॉब्लमली गेट अ फुल डेज आउट ऑफ इट विद अ लाइटर यूज वाइल नॉट एज फास्ट एज द सिक्सटी फाइव वॉट चार्जिंग फाउंड इन मोर प्रीमियम ऑप्शन द एटीन वॉट फास्ट चार्जिंग इज मोर दैन इनफ टू गेट यू ड्यूरिंग टेस्टिंग द एक्स ट्वेंटी वेंट फ्रॉम जीरो टू फोर्टी परसेंट इन थर्टी मिनट्स एंड अ फुल चार्ज विल टेक अराउंड नाइनटी मिनट्स इन सम रीजन द चार्जर ब्रेक इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन द बॉक्स एंड नोकिया क्लेम्स दैट विद दैट प्रॉफिट इट विल बी गोइंग टू क्लियर रिवर्स अ चैरिटी दैट हेल्प कीप रिवर्स एंड ओशन क्लीन विच इज अ नाइस मूव एंड वी शुड अप्रिशिएट दैम फॉर दिस The rear facing Z's branded camera system is one of the Nokia X20's main selling point. It has a quad camera setup with a main 64 megapixel sensor, a 5 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a dual 2 megapixel depth and macro sensors. A fairly standard camera setup for mid range in 2021. Check out some of the photos taken with the X20 on the screen right now. The main 64 megapixel snapper is unsurprisingly the most powerful of the bunch. It uses pixel binding technology to combine pixels and produce a 16 megapixel image with improved detail and it works well in most cases. However, if you really want to, you can take the huge 64 megapixel images. We'll concentrate on the 16 megapixel output because it's the most people will use and the good news is that it's a joy to use capturing detailed vibrant images with a wide dynamic range especially in well lit situation. As light level drops, the performance drops. With creeping noise and less detail, but there is a dedicated night mode that tries to squeeze every last drop of light out of the scene. There's a chance for a decent low light images if there's enough ambient light for the phone to focus. But you will probably have to try more than once to get the perfect shot. The main snapper when combined with the depth sensor and produces excellent portrait mode photography the bokeh effect can really add a professional feel to your shot and the line recognition is generally accurate even along the hair lines the bad news is that the performance does not extend to the 5 megapixel ultra wide which produces noticeably softer images due to the low resolution and wide angle lenses it's the same with the 2 megapixel macro lens which is largely unsatisfactory In fact the less said about the low resolution macro lenses on mid range phones in general the better Despite Nokia's apparent focus on camera performance the X20's video resolution is limited to 1080p at 60 frames per second while it's debatable whether you need a 4K video on a phone with an FHD plus resolution the footage will appear soft if you play it on your 4K TV at home so its absence from Nokia's X range is surprising On the front of the phone there is a single 32 megapixel camera it's great for selfies and video calls but it's not going to able to take the place of the rear cameras anytime soon This is the selfie video shot on Nokia X20 Video nalla da irukku liya but the uh, dynamic range is missing still okay but here and all it's getting washed out here also Nokia promises 3 years of software updates security updates and an extended warranty for the Nokia X20 So if you are focused on buying a smartphone with great software experience this one is for you but for that you might have to miss some of the features there are cheaper phones with brighter displays better cameras and faster charging and a better overall smartphone experience making the Nokia X20 difficult to recommend to anyone except the most ardent stock android fans don't get me wrong Nokia's extended support is a huge improvement over most manufacturers but the hardware needs to be more competitive to get a recommendation That's it from me today. I hope you like this video. If yes, then hit the like button. And if you are new here, as usual, not to forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. I'll meet you in the next one. Until then, this is Manish. You're watching Tech and Spice. Bye.